to episode two of Shark Attack. My name is Leslie Wilson, the director of student life here at the Kendall campus, and I am here with six-time Hall of Fame inductee, Coach Susan Summons, and one of our wonderful student athletes on the basketball team for our women's team, Miss Jordan Bond. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. It's right. glad to be on the show, Leslie. All right, fantastic. I'm glad you guys are here joining me, your women, excuse me. All right, so I'm going to get to know you a little bit more and uh, let our audience get to know you as well. So I have a couple of questions for you. I'm going to start off with some accolades. So, Susan, I introduced you as a six-time Hall of Fame inductee, and I see that you were just recently inject inducted into the NJCAA Hall of Fame. Tell me what that was like. Well, basically, uh, Leslie, it was an incredible experience. Okay. And uh, really, it was the culmination of, of um, the outstanding service, years of service, mm -hmm. uh, here in the state of Florida and the nation a as it relates to student success and student athlete success across the country. So okay. the National Junior Community College Athletic Association held their convention mm -hmm. at Niceville, Florida, at Northwest State College. As a matter of fact, the same weekend, they had the National All-Star uh, Weekend for national top 40 all-star juco players of which okay. Vanessa Hennett, which oh, okay. you previously had on a shock episode was one of the top 40 picks so I was inducted as, into the National Hall of Fame that same weekend she was selected as a top 40 in the nation so awesome great yeah. for MDC yeah, yeah it was great, great for though. MDC and great for the community the public relations and great for the students and great especially okay and Jordan uh, I see that you were or you are the leading point scorer for the team and you also lead in rebounds and you are the FCSAA player of the week how did you get all these accolades <laughs> what is your regimen tell me uh, what's your secret coach is my secret. Yeah, right. she uh, pushed me. Okay. She told me I need to step up. Okay. And I took that as a motivation okay. to want to be the best and to put it all out there when I'm playing. Fantastic. Well, you were definitely motivated by your coach, and congratulations on those accolades Thank to you. both of you. So, uh, Jordan, can you tell me about um, what it was like? You transferred from another college, yes. correct? Yes, uh, Owens Community College in okay. Perrysburg, Ohio. All right, so what has that transition been like? Uh, it's a lot different. Okay. Um, Owens is a, a D2. Community okay. College, and this is a D1. Okay. The uh, practice schedule is a lot intense here. Okay. We didn't practice much there. We practiced a lot, but it was mm -hmm. for two hours. Here we practiced for a good three to four hours. Okay. And we hit the weights hard. And that okay. Owens, we hit the weights, but not as hard as we do here. Okay. And, uh, and so do you see a difference in yeah, your play? It's a big okay. difference, and it's, it's good, too. It helps. Okay. All right, fantastic. So how did you develop their exercise uh, routine for the, for the team? Well, you know, when I first took this job here at Miami-Dade, I actually was one of the fitness conditioning instructors. Okay. And at oh. my previous institution uh, in college, at Roxbury Community College, I was one of the founders in the physical education wellness program and department. Okay. So I was a conditioning trainer. I would teach conditioning. That was a natural part of my regimen. Okay. And so it was a natural transition for me to train student athletes. Okay. Uh, because in order to perform at this level, certainly at Division I, and to be really competitive, you really have to be in the best shape, mind, body, and soul. Mm -hmm. um, okay, wonderful. So it seems like you've learned a lot from your coach. Can yes. you tell me what is your favorite thing about Coach Summons? Or what do you respect or admire the most about her? Uh, she's just with it, real, okay. as you know. It's for no games, but Coach <laughs> is cool. Okay. Like, y'all see the hard side of her, we get to see the fun, the goofy side of her, and that's, okay. that's what I love most. Okay, so I'm going to ask you the same question about Jordan. What, what is it that you see in her that inspires you to continue coaching and see what you see her future will be? Well, I think one of the attributes that I see in Jordan <clears throat> is an attribute that is always a rarity. Mm -hmm. And I see it also in some of the other players that you've had on the show, previous Shock episodes, but I see passion. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to be great in this game, if you're going to be great in anything, whether it's in the sports arena, in the classroom academically, in your career, mm -hmm. you have to be passionate about your, what you're doing. You have to be mm -hmm. not only passionate, but you have to have the passion, and you've got to show the passion. And I think that's one of the attributes that stands out the most about her. Mm -hmm. uh, her level of enthusiasm, she loves the game, she's thinking basketball, mm -hmm. she's focused on basketball, mm -hmm. and it resonates in her game. Okay. Lovely. I love that. And she's a wonderful person. Okay. You know, you, you can win championships with great players, mm -hmm. but you can win more championships with great people. That's a great, great statement. 
Don't you feel honored? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so um, I want to talk to you guys about what your goals are for the team. Like for this year, what do you hope to accomplish with the team? Jordan, you can go first. Uh, a big turnaround. Uh, we're doing good, but we can do a lot better. Okay. And we have a lot of talent on the team. Okay. And we're starting to come together more. Okay. So that. A good, a big turnaround com okay. coming up. So, do you feel like the team is a family? Yes. Okay. We're <laughs> goofy. We just love each other. Okay. All right. A bunch of sisters. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. And coach, what do you, what do you aspire for the team? Well, uh, every year I inspire to take a team to the nationals. Mm -hmm. That's always the top of the line goal. Mm -hmm. And um, players have to come in with that mindset that they want to be at the nationals. They want to compete at that championship pedigree level, right. which requires work ethic. They can't do anything lazy. Mm -hmm. uh, the team is coming together. We're playing a lot better. I set up a brutal schedule. I'll be very honest with you. Okay. A brutal schedule. Uh, you in know, the, the teams that you're playing? Th that we're playing. We're, okay. We've been playing against some of the top teams in the nation. Okay. The reason I do that is if you want to be great at the end mm -hmm. and great when it counts, you've got to go on the road and play against some of the toughest talent. Mm -hmm. That helps mm -hmm. you to develop early. It helps you to see what you have to work on earlier in your game. And obviously, that's making you a better team when it matters the most as we're getting ready to get ready for conference. We have four home games coming up. All right, so I have a, a couple of final questions for you all, um, or for you, um, Jordan, uh, just to talk about what it's been like to be a student athlete. Um, it, is it a difficult um, role to play that you have to be someone who is esteemed, respected, everyone knows that you're a student athlete, and then how do you manage your studies when you have a really challenging practice and uh, team schedule? It's hard, but coach makes it easy for us with the study tables and okay. some days off just so we can focus on studying because we are student athletes, student does come first. So mm -hmm. um, it's fun too. Okay. I can't lie. It's, it's a lot of fun and uh, it keep you focused. Okay. So. All right. And what do you think about there? Are they they're hard workers, I'm assuming? Yeah, they the are hard, hard workers. Hard I, I'm very uh, proud of this team mm -hmm. and proud of what they've accomplished thus far. and have a tremendous vision for them and, and I agree with some of the comments they made previously. We only see them at the state championship tournament. Okay. And uh, they're a team that's fighting to get better, focused on getting better, they're a family. Mm -hmm. They act like a group of sisters. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you have that kind of dynamic, it can translate to chemistry on the floor. You gotta have chemistry mm -hmm. on the floor to play this game. You can have the talent, but if you don't have chemistry, you're not going to put together very many wins. So mm -hmm. that's coming. It's developing. So we're excited going into these four games at home. Okay. We're also excited going into conference. They're working hard academically. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, Jordan and Vanessa and uh, Jakia Grimsley is going to be focused on graduating this year. And they have some university, Division One and Division Two university programs that are recruiting them for further scholarships. So that's what it's about, helping them get to the next level. All right, fantastic. Well, that was a great way to wrap this up. Um, unfortunately, we are out of time. I want to thank both of you for being here. Uh, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be back with two more of our wonderful players uh, from the women's basketball team. If you'd like more information about MDC Athletics, please contact us on www.mdc.edu athletics or like us on Facebook at MDC Athletics. Thank you. We'll see you shortly. programs for hot jobs. Let Miami-Dade College jumpstart your career. We offer bachelor's degrees in film and TV production, electronics engineering, supervision and management, and nursing. Or choose from 300 other programs. With our flexible course schedules, you can take classes during the day, evening, weekend, or online. For more info, visit mdc.edu or call 305-237-8888. Get the knowledge and training for today's in-demand jobs. Register now. Fresh thinking is being served at Miami-Dade College. Create your own recipe for success in the evolution of food culture at the Miami Culinary Institute. Learn the skills you need to jumpstart your career in the culinary arts. Turn green into gourmet and celery into salary. Miami Culinary Institute. Food 
culture, innovation. Visit us at MiamiDadeCulinary.com. Register now. Miami Culinary Institute. Welcome back to Shark Attack. I'm here with two of our women's basketball team members. My name is Leslie Wilson. I'm the Director of Student Life at the Kendall Campus. So ladies, tell me your names and how long you've been with Miami-Dade College. My name is Jakia Grimsley and I've been playing here for two years. Okay. My name is Kayla Guerrero and this is my first year. Okay, what are your positions on the team? I'm a point guard. I'm um, a shooting guard, power Lovely. forward and small forward. Okay, all right, lovely. And what brought you to Miami-Dade College? Where are you from, what high school? I'm from Cottondale High School. Okay. Mm -hmm. And where's Cottondale? Um, it's like 45 minutes by Panama City Beach. Okay. All right. So you went from north to south Florida. Lovely. And mm -hmm. Kayla? I'm from Miami Senior High School, and I, my basketball coach, he recommended me to come here. Okay. So you're a local person. Yes. All right. So how's the journey been for you so far as basketball members, basketball team members? Um, mine has been pretty excellent. Actually, I've had a real long journey, okay. and it was a blessing for me to end up being here at Miami Dade College. Okay. Did you encounter some hurdles to overcome, or what yes, was your journey uh, like? Yes. It's been a rough, pretty rough, but you know, like mm -hmm. I said, I'm blessed to be here, and I thank my coach, Susan Summons, for giving me the opportunity. Fantastic. Okay. And Kayla, what's your journey been like? My journey has been mm, easy. Okay. Too easy. easy. Too easy. Yeah. Do you want it harder? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot harder. But it's gotcha. been good and I'm blessed to be here. Okay, fantastic. I'm, we're lucky to have you here as well, as well. So who are some of your inspirations in the sports world or beyond? Um, well, someone that's, in, that's an inspiration in my life would probably be my mom, just okay. because she's never gave up on me, okay. and she's always been there for me and everything that I basically ask her for, she gives it to me. And okay. also, uh, the most of all is God. Okay. Do you have any siblings or are you only child? Yes, um, I have one sister by my mom and mm -hmm. a sister and a brother by my dad. Okay, fantastic. What are some of your, or who are some of your inspirations? My inspiration would be my father. Okay. He played um, back in Dominican Republic professionally okay. when he was my age and he's oh, wow. basically the reason why I started playing basketball. Okay, so do you have any other athletes in your family or just you and your dad? Well, my sisters played when they were in middle school, but okay. that's as far as it went. Okay, what about you? Do you have any other athletes in the family? Um, my, actually, my mom, my dad, and my uncle were athletes, but you know, I guess they just all gave it up okay. you know, as they got older. Okay, so you gotta keep the torch yeah. burning. Okay, I see. So what do you see happening here with the basketball team while you're here on the team? Um, we have a pretty good team and I hope if we, I believe if we all just stay focused and continue getting better and play together, we have a chance to be conference champs and either, and go on from there. Okay. Yeah, same. same. All right. Fantastic. And after you leave Miami-Dade College, what are your goals after that? Are you attending another college? Do you have aspirations to play professionally? Yes. Um, I plan on going to another good school and getting my degree and continue letting basketball just take okay. me to where I need to be. Do you plan to stay in Florida or do you want to venture outside? I want to stay in Florida, okay. but whatever, no comes, for you. <laughs> yeah, whatever okay. comes, you know, I'll take it. Okay. So what about you? Um, I want to continue playing basketball and mm -hmm. I want to go off to another school to major in culinary. Oh, okay. I want to be a cook. All right. So do you, are you roommates or, mm -hmm. but you all live in the same apartment no. complex? I live at home. Oh, you live at home. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So you don't cook for the other uh, basketball members, mm -hmm. team members? I will what? soon. Okay. <laughs> so no potluck. You keep her to that. Do you cook? No. <laughs> no, but you eat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you like to do in your spare time besides cooking? And for you? Um, majority of the time, if it's not basketball or school, uh, maybe just hanging out with friends okay. and watching TV. Okay, what's your favorite show? Uh, ESPN. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I get it, I get it. <laughs> what about you, Kayla, Food Network? Um, no. <laughs> maybe, sometimes, but okay. I love swimming and dancing, okay. even though I'm really shy. Gotcha. But yeah, I really like dancing. All right, fantastic. You know all the latest dances? Mm -hmm. Okay. What are the latest dances? I don't know. You don't want to know. I don't want to know. 
Okay, I'll take that for an answer. All right, so do you feel like you and your teammates have what it takes to get to the Nationals? Yes. Okay. Yes, I All agree. Right. You do? Mm -hmm. All right, fantastic. I want to see us there. Um, can you tell me about any of the challenges that the team has overcome since you've been together this season? Um, we've overcome a lot of challenges just okay. because, like, uh, we've had, like, a little bit of drama Mm -hmm. here and there but mm -hmm. so some I personal challenges yeah. okay. so I feel like if we continue just letting that be to the side and everybody mm -hmm. come together mm -hmm. we can end up making something happen okay mm -hmm. so is it like a family yes. Yes. you ladies you have to be a family to get to where you gotta go okay that makes sense all right so is it difficult to manage being a student athlete and also being an academic student yes um, it's actually very difficult even okay. though this wasn't my first college that I actually attended when I first went off to college it was pretty hard for me to okay. manage five classes and also do sports but since okay. this is my second college it was like better for me okay. since I had already experienced it okay. so now I can say I actually manage everything pretty well okay very good what about you Kayla How's at, it been? at first it was kind of hard but I mean you kind of get used to it and you mm -hmm. like sort of plan things out so you okay. can be organized or whatever. Okay. But, I don't know, it's easy for me. I don't okay. know, can't say for yeah, others. He's like easy, okay. <laughs> well, that's good. Some things are easy for some people. So um, I think that's all we have for right now. Do you have any, uh, anything else you'd like to share with our audience today? No, I just want to say thank you to my coach, Susan Summers, and I really appreciate her. Okay, anything else for you, Kayla? Thanks to my coach and thanks for having me. All right, thank you so much for sharing with us, Jakia and Kayla. We're going to take another short break, so before we come back, if you'd like any more information about athletics, you can like us on Facebook at MDC Athletics, or you can visit us on our website at www.mdc.edu slash athletics. Stay tuned. programs for hot jobs. Let Miami-Dade College jumpstart your career. We offer bachelor's degrees in physician assistant studies, biological sciences, education, and public safety management. Or choose from 300 other programs. With our flexible course schedules, you can take classes during the day, evening, weekend, or online. For more info, visit mdc.edu or call 305-237-8888. Get the knowledge and training for today's in-demand jobs. Register now. Welcome back to the last segment of Shark Attack. My name is Leslie Wilson, Student Life Director at the Kendall Campus, and I am sitting here with Tyra and Vanessa, two other lovely young ladies from the basketball team. How are you ladies today? We're doing wonderful. I'm doing good. How are Fantastic. You? I am wonderful. Thank you for asking. Yes. So, can you tell me about who has been your inspiration as far as your, um, your foray into athletics? My father has been my inspiration because he has done so much for me. He was an All-American in 1989 through 1990 for the NC State. Awesome. And? Um, my grandmother okay. because we always used to watch basketball and I always told her I make her proud with it. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I think so. All right. Shout out to grandma. All right. So <laughs> what brought you all to Miami-Dade College? Why did you choose us? I chose Miami-Dade College because of Coach Summers. All right. She and came to watch me in my all-star game the same day my grandma died, oh. and she, like, understood me, and she took me under her wing. Mm -hmm. So I just decided to come here with her and let her let me fly. Lovely. I love that. Keep Vanessa? it going, keep it going. Coach Summers was the reason why I came to Miami Day. All right. So Coach Summers is a great recruiter, isn't she? Oh, wonderful. yeah. Lovely. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful to know. So uh, what do you see happening with the women's basketball team while you're here in attendance? Well, we're just looking forward to getting better and working hard and together and smarter. Every day we do something to progress in something in the area. So that's what I see. Okay. I see us going to states. Okay. Like. All right. 
um, just building as a team and once we build we'll get closer and closer mm -hmm. and like in the long run we'll be better okay all right so speaking of getting closer do you feel like your teammates are your family and what do you do to really make that family bond between you all we communicate. We are family. This is okay. a family bond that we have here. We're not like just teammates. We're close, like best buddies anybody could ever have. Okay. If we need something, we go to anybody. We share what we, what we feel. We don't hold back anything. So okay. that's basically what a family does. They love each other and be with them to the end. I love all of them. I'm the aggravating little sister. Oh, okay. So are you the youngest or are yes. you? Oh, okay. I'm just the aggravating one. I'm the oldest. And you're the oldest. Oh, all right. So sibling <laughs> rivalry here. Do you have your own siblings at home? or okay. Yes. yes. All right. And so is that a similar relationship that you have with the other members? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. So do you argue? Is it like sisters? Sometimes. Yeah. Sisters? Okay. Especially me and her. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. I can tell. I can tell. Y'all have something going on here. Y'all seem like real family, like me and my sister. Are you guys silly together? Always. She's okay. so goofy. She okay. don't ever have serious moments. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's, what's the, one of the funniest things that's happened while you guys were on the road or in practice or just being together? What I could think about was whenever we had our first home game and they was calling our names out and mm -hmm. then we I was giving everybody a high five and then I mm -hmm. just happened just to hit Tyra on the butt. But it was kind of <laughs> funny because she turned around and looked at me like, are you serious? That was the funniest thing ever. Uh, mm -hmm. She and thinks she's Beyonce, so oh, like, the funniest times is when she just break down and start singing somewhere. Oh, lovely. Okay, well, so what's your favorite Beyonce song? Halo. Halo, okay. And do you have a favorite Beyonce? No. My Beyonce is right here. You're not a B fan? Oh, okay. Um, okay, all right. So let's get back to the questions. <laughs> to basketball. So uh, tell me about where you guys are from. What high school did you attend? I'm from North Carolina. I attended Clayton High School. Okay. Um, I'm from Clearwater, Florida. I attended Clearwater High. Okay. So Clearwater is what, on the west side of the state? It's about a Tampa Bay area. Okay, so <laughs> is there a difference in living in Miami than living in Clearwater? And then I'll ask you about North Carolina. Yeah, this is like fast here. You okay. know, everything moves fast. Gotcha. And you just got to get used to it and adapt. But it's pretty good now. I okay. like it now. All right. And North Carolina, Florida difference? It is a big difference. Miami okay. just... And okay. North Carolina, it's just, we just slow and calm and everything is just steady, like... Miami is just too fast okay. for me. But, right. Well, I mean, Kendall is kind of slow, or it, it'll slow it down a little uh, bit. No. So living around here, mm -hmm. we, no? I'm in the country. I'm from the country. Oh, okay. So. All right. Well, welcome to the city. The city. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about um, any of your family members. Have they been athletes? Do you have any other athletes in your family? Yes. Okay. Um, my mom, she ran track and did basketball herself. Okay. And my dad, he's basketball. My sister's basketball. My aunts, they're oh, wow. basketball. Every, it's just basketball everywhere. Okay, my so family. if you had chosen to play softball, you would have been ousted from the family? or uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I played t-ball before, but okay. that's nothing like softball. I mean, I would try it, but mm -hmm. I'll stick to track and basketball. <laughs> so basketball is in the blood. And what yeah, about basketball. you, um, My dad played basketball. Um, my mom, she cheered. I don't really okay. think that counts, though. That is a sport. Yes, it is. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Those only two. I got a little okay. brother that's coming up, and he's pretty good. And I got a little okay. sister that she graduated this year, and she's pretty good with basketball, too. Okay. So. All right. Fantastic. Lovely. So what is it like being a student athlete and then also going to class? Is it difficult? Is it hard to manage? Do you have a lot of support? It's it's. It's in between. It's kind of difficult because you got to remember that you have your grades and your studies to keep up with. Then you have basketball and then, you know, but that's the reason why we have study hall, too, so we can catch up okay. in some areas that we're, like, down in. Okay. Um, it's easy for me. I mean, just find time to study. Study in basketball, mm -hmm. that's what we're here for. That's our scholarship. That's what we got to focus on doing. Okay. Can't get sidetracked to did anything else. I like that focus. Tyra, ditto? I love basketball. Then okay. class. I'm starting to like it. Okay. I got to okay. get it on time. Mm -hmm. Got to make sure I'm at academic study hall. Okay. But it's turning out pretty good. Most important. Right. My Thank grades are happy. becoming pretty good. All right, great. All yeah. right. We have some athlete scholars. I student like student athlete. Student yes. comes first. All right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Embrace it. <laughs> so tell me about your transition from high school to college. Like, has that been difficult? Do you have you gone through like the typical things that you see in movies or? It has being in the basketball team made that transition easier. Yeah, the basketball team made it very easy because then okay. we don't have time to like 
do things that we shouldn't be doing okay. now because you know we're in college now. Okay, how about you, Tyra? How have you handled your transition from high school to um, college? I'm gonna fit in wherever I go. Okay. I just try to make friends, but I had like family from the start because you know mm -hmm. basketball was before school, like practicing and stuff. So I did pretty good. Okay. I like it. <laughs> so both of you, uh, what is your plan to ensure that you reach your personal goals with basketball while you're here? Education. Okay. Yes. Uh, veterinary medicine is what I want to do at okay. the basketball. So if I want to do that, then I have to have my education. Education is the key for me. Okay. All right. And Tyra, do you plan to continue with basketball or do you have another I aspiration? just plan on staying with Coach Summons for two years and then okay. going overseas. Oh, fantastic. I plan on so going to the WNBA also. Okay. Yeah. So you'll do athletics and then you'll also have another career. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, the two of you. You've been so much fun. Thank you. And that concludes another episode of Shark Attack. And I want to thank you all for tuning in. Before we go, I'd like to give you more information about athletics. You can like us on Facebook at MDC Athletics, or you can visit us on our website at www.mdc.edu slash athletics. And join us for another episode of Shark Tech. Again, this is Leslie Wilson. Thank you for watching.